Hi, it's Sherry from A Quilting Life. Today I'm here to talk about the Dresden Plate Block. This will be a two-part video series. Today I'll talk about cutting and sewing the blades for the circle, the outer circle, and then in the next part of the video series I will show you how to create really great center circles. I've got two different methods that you can use and you can choose your favorite. But for today we're, today we're going to concentrate on cutting and sewing the blades. Now there are a few tricks to cutting the blades. It's great to use pre-cuts for those. If you're cutting two and a half inch blades, you can use the mini Moda candy packs, which are two and a half inch squares. They're already cut to the right measurement, makes it super easy to cut them. Jelly rolls are also great for cutting the two and a half inch blades. And in fact, if you're doing a scrappy quilt, you can cut a couple of blades from the end of each strip and still have strips left over that are long enough for a completely other, um, another project. So that's a great way to do it. Charm packs are also great. You can cut five inch Dresden blades from a charm pack, or you can cut your charm pack squares down to, you know, three inches, three and a half, four, four and a half inches, whatever you'd like, so that you have strips that are ready to cut for your Dresden blades. If you're using fabrics from your stash, that's great too. Just be sure to cut them into strips that are the same width as the height of your Dresden blades. And by height, I mean from the top bottom of the blade to the top of the blade before you sew. So get your fabric and I'll show you a few ideas on cutting those Dresden blades. Okay, so we're going to cut two and a half inch Dresden blades. I'm going to use Moda Candy Squares. I'm going to stack them together. I usually cut four at a time if my blade is sharp. And I stack them together. I'm using the Easy Dresden Ruler by Darlene Zimmerman. It's great because you can cut Dresden blades from one inches tall all the way to eight inches tall. So I will line up the Dresden Ruler with the bottom of my Moda Candy Square. The two and a half inch line is at the top, and I'm going to cut. And I've got a turning mat, so I'm going to, this makes it great for cutting these blocks. I'm going to turn it toward um, so that I can again cut away and cut the other side of that Dresden blade. I have four Dresden blades now, and I'll just continue to cut them all in that manner. Once you have the Dresden blades cut, the next step is to sew them together. And you're going to fold the Dresden in half, right sides together, and you'll notice that there's a narrow end and a wide end. We're going to take a quarter inch seam on this wide end of the Dresden blade, and you're going to want to back stitch when you begin and when you end. It helps it hold together when you open it up and press it. So again, we're going to take all of the Dresdens that you've cut and you're just going to do that quarter inch seam at the wide end of the Dresden blade. And I will sew those over at the machine and then be back to show you how to start going with the next step. Okay, I've sewn them together. I chain piece them to make it go a little bit faster, which is just sewing one right after the other. And so you'll need to clip them all apart. And the first thing we're gonna do before we press them is we're gonna trim these center corners. So where the fold is in the fabric, we're going to trim those corners with some scissors so that there's not a lot of bulk in there when we open it up. So trim each of your corners. You're just going to remove some of that fabric so that it's not so bulky. Now we're going to turn them inside out. And for doing this, I like to use, it's just this funny little tool called that purple thing. And this is the second one I've had. I think I um, have used these for several years and uh, bent one out of place and, and got another one, but they're great. The, the little tip will help you just get that Dresden blade right out to a nice point. So you want to do that to all of your sewn Dresdens. You're just going to 
use this little tool and also an orange stick can work for this or even a shish kebab stick, one of those wooden sticks can use if you don't have this tool. Um, so you're going to um, pull all those corners out and then you're going to just finger press each block. You're going to have your seam and your point in the center. You can see that this is going to give you your Dresden blade and you're just going to take them over to the ironing board and iron these, just press them flat. Okay, so they've all been pressed and we're ready to start sewing them together. Now there are a couple hints I'd like to give you about this too. When you sew them together, you will um, do two at a time and you put them together, right sides together, and it's important to line up the tops, um, this seam right here at the very top where you'll have the V. Um, the bottom parts of the Dresden blades will be covered by your circle, so it's not as important that those match up. So put them together, right sides together, and the best thing to do is actually to start stitching just a little bit down. Put your needle right there. Use a back stitch to go up to the top, and then continue to sew all the way down to the bottom with a quarter inch seam, and back stitch again here. And the reason you do that is start a little bit lower and then back stitch up and back is it just makes that seam very secure and also the threads aren't right there. You can uh, trim them later and they'll be lower down. So I've already got a, some sewn together. Uh, you'll sew them together in pairs and I press the seams one direction. Now when you're sewing your Dresden blocks together, it's a good idea to lay out all the blades and get an idea of the order you want everything in before you get started. So let me do a little bit of sewing at the machine and come back and show you the next step. Okay, after you sew everything together in pairs, sew them together in sections of four. And then sew the sections of four together. I've got part of my Dresden blade all complete and I will sew these two together and add them. And another thing is when you press, I like to press all one direction on the back so that my pressing will be going as much as possible all the same way. Uh, the same technique as when you are sewing two together for when you join the sections, you again will start a little bit below the top, back stitch to the top and sew all the way down. So I'll be right back with a completed circle. Okay, I've got all of the blades sewn together. I didn't mention earlier, but it does take 20 blades to make a Dresden circle. So these are 20 different fabrics and they're all sewn together. And as I mentioned before, I have them pressed, all going in the same direction. So to finish our block, we still need to make the center circle and that will be in my next YouTube video. Okay, we've finished our Dresden circle. This was part one. I'll be back next week with part two and show you how to make the center circle for your Dresden block. As always, if you haven't subscribed to the YouTube channel, I would appreciate if you did that and we'll be back soon. Thanks so much for stopping by.